Hi there, it's Pat Moss. How are you? Well, it's Russia again, and last time we had a big world war, so let's see what this episode will bring. I'll get time rolling and zoom us in. So, what are we doing? Well, our armies are present and near the border, so maybe at some moment we can do something against our enemies. And, well, I think we are preparing for another war against the Ottomans. I would have hoped that in a peace deal we could break the alliance between the Ottomans and France, but that didn't happen, so we'll have to see what will happen. And we are integrating Hungary, and I like it. Let's make the Tatars pay. Alright. Interesting. Not much going to happen now, but it looks interesting. So, well, we are improving our relations with our allies, which is good. Put that on automation, I think that's the best way to go. We are making money again. Let's seek out if there are good money opportunities. Well, there are, but... I'm really sure. It's worth the investment, but we're gonna do it anyway. Alright, well... Let's check the army of Brunei. 74,000 men. No, 47, but... Yeah, not really something I want to do anything about. Diplo relations or 50 diplo power? Well, give me the diplo power. You do something against the Mahapit. Hmm. Could very well be the case, but... Not sure. Brabant is there as well, so if I do something against him... Might just be able to take a few provinces here and there. Well, let's see, let's see. Let's call that guy back. Come here. Well, let's see what happens if we go to a small war here. Well, that's good. Imperialism or Holy War? Well, we'll do Imperialism. There we go. Let's go straight for his capital. Oh, well, that's a decent army we can deal with. So we'll see how we can do. Hopefully we can end this war quite quickly. And get it over with. And perhaps it is very well possible that he has a decent amount of money. If we can take that money. That would be marvelous. Now let's first take these provinces. Probably be done rather quick. As we can see here, he can go back. Yep, he can go there as well. Then we we'll unite them into one army. Right there. Give them a leader. And there they go. They get a crossing penalty, but we should be able to deal with that, right? Yes, we did. Alright, looking good. Yeah, he wants a peace deal. Well, we don't yet. There we go. Let's sue him for peace. How much money does he have? Not much. Alright, so let's see. We take it all. What does it do? Well, not that much actually. So I'd say we do this. No, we don't even completely annex everything. Still something left. Well, that's fine. Can get him to pay war reparations. Alright, let's do it like this. I'd say it's a good deal. Let's make a few cores. Let's make sure that rebels 
Well, they will come, but just make sure that they don't come too quick. Put him over there, set him to Autonomous Rebel. That's probably the best way. Just have him autonomously hunt those rebels. Let's see, what can we do? Well, we've already done this one. We're not Prussia. Liberty Desire, same continent. Global Naval Engagement, Forge, Mars costs no power. And Liberty Desire from Subjects. Development goes down. Well, I'd say we go with Global Naval Engagement. Guess that's the best course of action. Now, let me see. If I want to make a state, a state, will it give me money? Well, not this state, so let's pick another one. Well, that won't give me too much money. Ooh, this is good money. Let's do so. Let's make them cores. Well, this way it might just get interesting, as you can see. And we still have a few states we can make, so... Ooh, that's good money. Well... This way we'll be making decent amounts of money. Extra, because just... We make some... Good provinces. Yeah, perfect. Ooh! Treasure ship came in again. Alright, well. This all looks promising. Because all of this brings in extra money. And a lot of extra money. Ooh, now I have to make some cores, but that's fine. Ooh, and the boyars and the clergy are unhappy. Well, that's something we can fix. Let's see, let's check the estates again. Then let's see. Oh uh, no, this one. Well, we'll give this one to the clergy. Probably are happy already. Give this one to the boyars. This one as well. So they're happy again. Well, this should raise my income by quite a bit, actually, because extra tax and production and trade. So yeah, I think we did a pretty good deal. All right, we can get rid of rebels. Don't know why, but we can. We can lower autonomy in five provinces. Let's do so. Lower autonomy also means more money, so. Bring it on. Well, still ahead of time, so it could be a thing to do this one one more time, and then... Uh, but I think I'll be saving up for... Yeah, I'll be saving that up. I think some truces will end soon. There we go. With France ends, with the Ottomans ends. We can intervene in a war between great powers. Portugal, Ming and Bhutan against Malwa, the Ottomans, Jampur and Australia. We have a new Tsar. Interesting. So. We can join. We will join the war on Malwa's side, I think. Want that. So that's not something that is going to happen anytime soon. Ooh, Malwa won't join right now. So... France won't either. France will, so... Mm. We'll have to wait and see, but at some point it could be a smart choice to go, actually. Because all these armies will be occupied. To everlasting friendship and get an heir. Well... I'm not particularly fond of the air, but... Oh, it's the way it is. It is the way it is. Let's see. We will do some counter-espionage. She can just come to me. It's free. Oh, we can still intervene. 
sure why, but we can. All right, to make that a core. Looking good so far. I think all my fortresses are back on. Oh, because we went to war with Moa. Or with the Mayapit. Well, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save it up for some teching. I think I should lower my 30%, yes. Let's get those cores in, hope it works. They'll be good. And, ooh, there we see all the armies. Well, they are at war with just Portugal, so they already put Ming out. Interesting, Ming just backed out. And there's a lot of people going that way. That's tough. Send them what they need. Well, I can offer Malwa an alliance. Lose five inflation, gain one stability, gain money, and yearly inflation reduction or interest. I will control inflation. I think I should offer Malwa an alliance as well. Prove my relations with him. Yep, that's perfect. Proof relations right there. Alright, let's see. Send out my missionaries. Well, there the army's going. It's just quite impressive. I wonder how they will go to Portugal, because Portugal is just all the way up here. He's in a big war. Wonder how he got into that. Probably because Malwa was trying to take that province. That's it. Hmm, interesting. We'll get problems with those rebels soon. I have to be aware of that and deal with it when the time comes. Compensate the traitors or do nothing. All right. Well, we'll compensate them for now. I think that's fine. Don't really have an issue with that. May infiltrate an administry. Trade range goes up, trade efficiency goes up. Alright, let's do so. Let's do so. Ooh, he's already military level 30, so we'll have to save up for that. Means he's probably a bit stronger than us now. But in a year we can do the same, so let's just go for that. Ooh, he has a much bigger army. Let's hope we win this. Yes, we did. Perfect. Glad we did. Because now the problem will be gone for a while. See, all unrest is gone, which is good. Let's hope it stays that way. So. Perfect. And now, let's focus on the other two. Let's see, can we do some building? Gain some more money. Perhaps I should focus on a little bit more force limit. Five. And a bit more manpower. That'll be interesting. Once all those buildings are ready, it'll be good for us. Ooh. Yeah, I want a new royal marriage with him. And can I make him my vessel ready? No. That's too bad. Wish I could. He's a bit stubborn. I mean, if he goes out of the Empire, he can easily become our vessel, no problem there. Ooh, our truce expired with Munster, so now they can declare war on us. Well, my friend, you can come. Declare war on me. It's fine. He's still in a war? No, they made peace. Interesting. Ooh, and we can do the military check. Not gonna hesitate with that. Let's go with mass infantry. 
Oh, that's good. That is good. Ooh. So, let's get that back. See what we can do in a war against the Ottomans. Who will join, who won't. He still doesn't like me. That's not nice. So if we go to war, Austria will join us. Poor won't. Malwa won't. Austria will, which is good. France and Hormuz will join him. Thing is, Jean Poor still main power. Malwa is also. Ah, they will probably intervene. And when they intervene, we are in big trouble. I can tell you that. So probably not going to happen, although Mawa isn't that strong considering his manpower. Of course, same thing. Austria who needs manpower. Hungary, mm, not that well. So it'll be interesting. 59, 29, 30 and 30. So doing good on that but could be better. How long will it take? February 1816, so it took longer. Hmm, wonder why. Well, it's just taking longer, so we'll have to accept that. Ooh, well, we are already losing inflation quite quickly. Well, we don't even have inflation, so... Not gonna worry about that. Ooh. Gain 50 admin. Let's do that. Oh, we can become defender of the faith. What does it give us? Missionary, morale of armies, war exhaustion, gain pressure, but my check cost go up. And that's something I don't want. I don't want an extra check cost. However, let's check. Well, we'll wait. Yep, Malwa will join in as well now. Can I make him break his alliance with the Ottomans? No. Alright, well. That's not gonna happen then. Perhaps I should have the Ottoman attack me. And see what happens. An excellent idea. We gain a thousand population. Five legitimacy. Support for China. I think this is better. I really do. Let's keep it like this. Now. Oh, no, we're not gaining any diplomat points anymore. Interesting. Because I have a sucky ruler. Well, let's switch that out. Now they all grow again. That's good. Hmm. So... I could either seek out other people to attack, but I'm not sure because a lot of these countries are tributaries to Ming, so Ming is still powerful. What if I go to war with Hormuz? Anhalt will join, Austria won't, because it's fighting another war, and Jean Pou will join. We only be at war with them and the Ottomans, but. I won't be able to deal with that without Austria. Austria is in another war. With whom? Ah, there we go. With Provence, Münster, France. Alright, we'll accept. Probably the Ottomans will come and join in again. Which will be really interesting to see. So I'll join up these two armies. And 
then we'll go fight some other army. Bye bye. Let's see, because if we can keep destroying armies, that will be really interesting. The war is over. Wurtzenberg. So we'll have to protect that. Not sure how, but we have to. Let's send in the troops. Portugal joined the enemy. Alright. Well. Perhaps you should go and assist up here. And deal with some stuff. It is probably an even war now with great powers. Because we have France and Portugal against Austria. Oh no, Spain is also in. So the Ottomans can still join at some point. Which will be interesting to see, so... I'm gonna watch what happens. I'm just thinking, well, if I kick a few countries out, like Aachen or, or Münster, that will probably help us. We'll gain a lot of ducats. How many merchantalism do we have? Because it's not... support that's fine that is fine keep an eye out for enemy armies but if we can manage to kick out Munster I'd say that will help us uh, but right now France isn't standing a chance because of all the armies we have and I'm not using half of it but there's a lot of movement everywhere. Alright. Well, I think Aachen should be next. There's an enemy force there that we dealt with. Perfect. Let's see if we can take Aachen. Alright. Münster is out. Which is good. I think I should help out there. Yes, that worked. Oh, we did lose Wittenberg, so we have to take that back. Of course, we need to do some action against Aachen. Let's check where are all the enemies. Well, we're quite far away, so yeah, let's focus on these areas. Still a lot ahead of time, so we can pick those military ideas now. I would like the artillery combat ability, that's good give us better artillery. Something I will really like. But we'll see. It's another war. The Ottomans aren't involved. I'm not sure I am a big fan, but at least we can try and, and, and pull some stuff on the French and maybe after this war the French will consider not joining anymore if we go to war with the Ottomans. So that could be a thing to reckon with. Yep. This is good. For now, until that army joins, then it's not good anymore. They lost. But we can step in soon. We can step in soon, I hope. There he goes, which is good. Yep. Bye bye, Frenchies. We have won the Siege of Aachen. Let's go down. All right. All right, we destroyed quite a few French cannons. Which I believe is a good thing. 
try and take some provinces. And do some actual good in this war. Alright. He has a shock bonus, but also a crossing penalty, so... That's not gonna work, and he's gonna lose quite quickly. There we go. We'll help out that army. And we've taken Wurzburg back, which is good. Alright, Memmingen is out. So, they're slowly picking off on others, kicking them out. And that's good. That's what is supposed to happen. Alright, let's keep investing, making sure we make extra money. Because if we do, we can invest that money in troops later. So let's make sure we keep doing that. You see his numbers are going down slowly, but they're going down. If we can take a few provinces now. Alright, signed with the burgers or the clergy. I think the burgers are quite happy with me, so we're gonna sign with the clergy. I'll bring in some extra uh, tax money, which is good. Well, still no sign of the Ottoman joining. I had really hoped he would. Alright, I think we should intervene there. Well, that's looking good. Well, it's going back and forth all the time. Military access, that's fine. How is my war participation? Probably not that high. Oh, 22%, that's good. That should give us an equal piece of the pie. No stability or legitimacy? Well, we have three abilities, so I think we can lose one. Should be able to deal with that. Ooh, he's in my lands now. I'm gonna hunt him down. After this fortress fell, we're gonna hunt him. That'll be interesting. I think he got a bit too far away from his own land. Which isn't good. Should not have done that. Well, this is taking his time. Come on, breach those walls. Oh yeah, there's a lot of armies starting to fight him there. Which is good. Ooh, why do I have all these problems all of a sudden? I don't understand. I don't want all this. Oh, that's good. National Unrest Local Manpower Modifier. Or oh, Recovery Speed. Oh, that's good. Let's make sure our manpower recovers quicker. Don't see any problems with that. Well, looks we should be able to get this province soon. Yep, there it is. Alright, so his armies are gone there again. We should go down there. Is Milan in? I don't think so, but no. Alright, that's good. Let's go to Savoy, see if he has armies here. Yes, he has. Let's see if we can take those armies out. There's more, but... Well... We're hurting him, which is good. Spain is now really starting to walk in. It's a good thing as well. Sure, I can sign a separate peace deal. We can't. 
But this fortress is starting to fall quite rapidly. Let's hope it keeps doing that. And then France should be able... Or we should be able to kick France out rather quick. What's that? Well, I don't mind the interest one. I want the next one. Autonomy change. Well, Spain is just fighting it out quite hard. To admire that. France probably isn't liking it very much, no. Which is the only good way, of course. Let's do something against all those French. We've lost the Siege of Elsass, so that's fine. We have a Queen Regency. Well, war exhaustion is going down, which is good. Something I like, so... Not a big issue there. Paris is starting to slowly fall. And I think when we got this province, we'll just go do some hunting. Because we really need to kick enemy troops. Still has too many. We need his manpower to go down. No. Austria isn't doing a very good job. So. See, Austria is out now. That's a problem for us. That's a lot of armies gone. Have to keep kicking though, but. Don't like this. I don't like this. At all. Three years out. Augsburg is out. Well, I'd say let's gather my forces. Let's start fighting. With all we have, that should help. Maybe I'm able to sign a separate peace deal now. Or maybe with Provence, but... Oh, doesn't look that good, actually. but they're spread out. Alright, France is out. That's good. That's good. Now it's just Provence and Portugal. Alright. Let's go straight there. Let's do something against Provence. If he still has some good armies. I doubt it. Oh, not too many men, so that's good. Yep, going back, trying to siege it back. I guess I need to go to friendly land. Well, probably can lose this army anyway in this war, so let's just send them off. Alright, there we go. As many as it takes, come on. That's how it works. On the switch else us, continue. Let's completely wreck him, of course. And that's what we want. Not going to be able to... Ooh, the French are out as well now. But all we can do is actually occupy everything here. Let's see if he wants a peace deal. 
And I thought I heard there were rebels crossing into my land. Check where? They pose a problem. Yes, they pose a problem. Well, probably the fastest thing to do is just get a new army. And make sure that they all get there. To fight those guys. In the meantime... Ah, we have a peace deal. Okay. Interesting. Still quite far ahead of time, so we can do that one. So, there are rebels crossing at different spots. I'm not sure I like it, but it's just happening, so... Alright, you go to Berlin. You go there. Split you up later. There we see my army's coming in. The army of Finland. Well, don't see any issues there. They're all going to the same province, so soon we might be able to fight him. We're going here, perfect. Where's he going? Going down there, alright. Well, the armies are gathering. The statesman died. Ooh, that's the one I needed. So that's not good. Well, let's do trade efficiency then. Well, they took that province, but that's not really a big issue. Let's split these up. So, let's get rid of all the attrition. That's usually for the best. Where is he going? Oh, that's good. He's going there. That will hold him up for a while and then we can go in. Last troops coming in. Well, let's give him a leader. Yep, there he can go. Oh, he's getting out of my land. That's good. Oh. Let's go save those provinces then. Let's get a new royal marriage going. Probably should do the same with him now. Alright, we still have royal ties with him, so that's good. Well, I have to say, it all looked interesting. France will join, still. Which ain't nice, but... Well, it's just the way it is. Oh, he came in again. Well... Come on. Let's take these guys. They can take the province back. Some money. Oh, let them go, that's fine. This will take a bit longer, yeah, February 1821, so it won't be done before the end of the game, but well, at least we're trying. Trying and trying hard. Well, let's join forces there. They'll be in a good position. One. Grant them privileges or not. Burgers and the Boyars. Well, the Boyars are more happy than the Burgers, so I guess I have to piss off the Boyars. Alright, that's done. Austria started a war against Saxony, Burgundy, Bavaria, Cologne, Um, and Lübeck. Alright. Well, ain't 
a really big war, but it's worth a fight. But right now we're going to end this episode here because it's getting way too long and we need to, well, record some more. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll try to get into another war with the Ottomans in one of the next episodes. And see you then. If you like this one, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave comments in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.